All right. Let's talk about the NRA. And no, I'm not talking about the National Rifle Association. I'm talking about the NRA, the National Restaurant Association, which might be slightly more dangerous, believe it or <laughs> not. Uh, this is a political lobby representing the nation's largest food service companies. Uh, and they're one of the most powerful uh, lobbyists on Capitol Hill. They get a lot of crazy shit done. Let's take a look. OK, so they have nearly 52,000 members. And uh, this includes Olive Garden, McDonald's, Red Lobster, Starbucks, things like that. Uh, they have a PR firm, Berman & Company, which is famous for opposing sensible public interest and safety laws. Uh, their leaders are in Fortune 500 companies, and they have a budget of $65 million, and they employ 40 lobbyists. Okay, so on its face, nothing here sounds that bad. This is just how America works, but, so there's a lot of information here, so you can pause it and read it on your own, but some of the things that they've done, they've defended pink slime in burgers, which we've talked a ton about, inhumane conditions for poultry, they've opposed industry pledges to raise pigs humanely, They've opposed Paycheck Fairness Act for uh, waiters and waitresses, uh, Pregnancy Discrimination Act, and they blocked a federal minimum wage increase for restaurant employees. Uh, they found loopholes to exclude employees from the new health care law, all kinds of stuff. Um, and, and there's a lot more. And I, nobody talks about this. And you know, we talk about lobbying and money and politics all the time here. Uh, but I thought this was sort of interesting because it brings it literally to our table, right? The stuff that we are putting in our body. Yeah, the stuff right there. Um, should we know more about the National Restaurant Association? Did you know about this before we sent no. you guys the article? Uh, I, in full disclosure, I worked for Olive Garden when I was in high school, so oh, I knew. Oh really? We were, yeah, I knew. I knew we were part of the NRA. Yeah. <laughs> the other NRA. Do the they need a NRA. different name because we so associate NRA with obviously the rifle is, thing, I or this is their plan? Purpose. Purpose. They like hide, so it's yeah. like hiding in plain sight. Right. Well, wasn't this, wasn't, you know, the WWF used to be the World Wrestling Federation and then the World Wildlife Federation stepped in and then the WWF, the wrestling one, became World Wrestling Entertainment or something. So shouldn't we force this other NRA to get another name so we could all focus so on them a little more? So we can understand them and get a good look at them? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Wait, before we move any, any further, uh, what do we need to know about the unlimited uh, salad? It's too good to be true, right? A lot Dude, of calories salad, in that but, thing. You know what's, what, you can, what you can know? What? You can switch the salad and you can switch the soup for free. What do you mean? For what? Like Switch if you get an unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks, yeah. you can get like one type of salad, and then it's still unlimited if you want to switch it to a Caesar, if you want to go with the minestrone, what? and then the chili, yeah, and then the Toscana, even the Yolk. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, well, you know, when you're here on the Rubin Report, you're there family, you so there you go. So um, okay, uh, so yes, so it shouldn't surprise us, I suppose, that a lobbying, uh, that a, you know, an association like this would use lobbying to do all these horrible things, but shouldn't we know about this? Shouldn't we be talking about yeah, this? Why should. is this never discussed? It's funny because we, we talk about these stories like Papa John's opposing um, Obamacare yeah. and saying, oh, it'll cripple us, uh, but then finding out it doesn't. We yeah. think like, oh, that's... He's doing okay with his hundreds of millions of dollars, by the way. That guy's kind of not cool, but then we learn there's this whole lobby espousing all these ideas across the industry. It's yeah. not just one, one billionaire. Yeah. Um, should the government... Why is the government so involved in our food? Is, isn't that like the bigger problem here that we've so separated ourselves from our food source, you know what I mean? We don't do any kind of farm to table stuff. So then of course, you're, when you have all these middlemen that are uh, you know, putting laws in that allow for all these chemicals and all this other stuff. I that's mean, a big that's, one. that's a, a big, big question. One. Why is the government involved in our food? It's because it's necessary for survival. Um, you know, in the same way that it's involved in our air and keeping it clean, supposedly. Um, but it's also involved in our food for profit because it has a lot of corporate interests to protect. I mean, you look at the dairy industry, the subsidies that they get, and agriculture. It's a it's a place where they can make a lot of money and. Politicians get a lot of money from these corporations, so it matters to them. Yeah, so money in politics, of course. Um, one of the things that I thought was interesting is that they've fought against lower sodium levels in food, which uh, generally they say lower sodium is good for you. But it doesn't taste as good, that's why. They want to sell more food and they want their products to be tasty. Oh, so you're saying that the NRA is not in it for our <laughs> public good. Oh, They're in it for sick. us to buy more of their Shit. I mean, are they in it with the salt people? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is it just is it just <laughs> sure. one big clusterfuck? I mean, of... I'm sure if we look further, we'll find that there is profit to be had in certain areas, and that that's why it's happening. What drives me crazy is that they were fighting to keep uh, tipped server wages so low, and to and fighting the minimum wage increase. Yeah. I mean, in other countries, you know, like for well for the tipping thing. Yeah. They're they're kind of. 
they don't encourage tipping, or it's looked upon as as more, you know, like oh, you don't think I was good enough in my job. Yeah, yeah it's it's more it's of a something you can salary. be pride prideful of even your your work as a, a waiter. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, uh, did you guys know that YouTube is going to start putting a tip jar right over there? So I'm just saying, if you like what we're doing here, you could just, it's not there yet, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs>